No surprise, Mainers always step up to help each other through difficult times, and you, <laughs> for our New Center Main blood drive, no exception. We want to thank you. Uh, so many people donated. In total, you gave 232 units of blood, a big increase from last year. It could save as many as 696 lives, and these donations will go to help so many across the state. Our Sean Stackhouse spoke with someone who may soon need to become a recipient. Good morning, Sean. Sharon, good morning. Well, New Center Maine first spoke with Ed Suslovic back in December. He's a former Portland City Councilor, a lifelong blood donor, and he was trying to donate one of his kidneys to a friend. But it was during that process that it was discovered that Suslovic has a blood platelet condition, and now he may need a blood transfusion of his own. It was very frustrating because I've always been a donor. I have donated blood, platelets, bone marrow, and I was about to donate a kidney, so I thought. It was news Ed Suslovic never expected. After seeing a story on New Center, Maine, he was inspired to try and donate a kidney of his own to a friend and Metro Board of Directors colleague, John Thompson, until it was discovered after tests that I now have uh, a very rare type of leukemia. It's called hairy cell leukemia, and Ed just finished day three of chemotherapy. As early as next week, the week after, it's possible that I actually may need platelets and or red blood cells. Something that never crossed his mind in his decades of donations. Frankly, I never really thought about what it was like to be on the receiving end, all those times lying on the cot donating blood or platelets. And now he's unable to donate blood himself and may need to rely on the generosity of another. Most people have never donated blood before. Um, and I, you know, as I look at my future, I'm very thankful that, that some people are, but boy, we need more. There's no blood factory. Um, the only way to get it is from other live human beings that care enough to take an hour out of their day and roll up their sleeve. And thank you to all of you who did roll up your sleeves and take part in the new Center Main Red Cross blood drive. If Suslovic does need a transfusion, he is just one of the many Mainers that your donations could go to help. And while the new Center Main Red Cross blood drive has passed, there are still plenty of opportunities to donate blood yourself. You can visit redcrossblood.org to find a drive happening near you. Live in Portland this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center Maine.